What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Exodia Man and I got Jacob Collins. And what you did today, buddy? Uh, I got fifth at the Springfield Mass Regional. Uh, went X11, tied with Despia, and lost to uh, Shu. That's about it. Any shout outs? Um, yeah, shout outs to everyone in my locals. Uh, shout out to Card Shark Trains of Gaming, sponsor. Shout out to my spray buddy Matt over here. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So I played um, Fire King Snake Eye. I actually thought it was very uh, good choice into not only Rogue, but into Tempai. It's a very sticky board. Um, it's a little bit worse into like, uh, you know, Fire King uh, mirrors, but I played three pure and only lost the shoes, so um, okay. it's really good. So, uh, 42 cards, by the way. So, we got three uh, Sekai Ash, two Poplar, Oak, one Flame Bridge, three Bonfire, you know, nothing special here. Three, three, one, one, and uh, one for one, Un Perun. Card's crazy. You gotta play this. You always draw this off of Wanted when you need it, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, so standard there. Also, shout out to the GOAT, Tom Brady. Tom Brady, Tom Brady. let's insane. go. Uh, Fire King cards, only two. I mean, there's an argument to play three because it dodges stuff, but it's just really insane. Uh, when you normal like Snake Eye Ash on the Imperm, you can chain this, and then you can even search pop, uh, this, and then trigger it because the fire was destroyed. So it's just it's just really nice. Arvada's crazy, Grunt's crazy. It's just very sticky on board, layered. Pretty much unbeatable board all the time, uh, and then these two. You gotta play this because of ogre. Um, I, I try to play 40 cards in my main deck whenever I can, but because of ogre, you know, up this, and then I just up my non-engine to make it 42. Uh, it is what it is, but it's nice. Um, hand traps. Hand trap city. Three, 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 three ogre. It's nice against all the rogue, and uh, it's okay against like uh, you know. Um, just uh, the other fire decks, you can hit the, the new stank guys that have Elastar on the Spell Trap, and you can hit Temple, hit like IP and random grind states. Uh, so it's, it's like fine, but it's just really good against like, you know, Rogue and, you, and Temp Eye for the field. And then Call By because the card's always crazy for me. Uh, so 16 non engine in 42, it's pretty good, uh, you know, ratio wise for the count. So um, pretty good there. Uh, you got the extra, got Anima. IP, SP, big white box dude, uh, that's Sunlight Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, no one ever knows what it is when I summon it. Um, Phoenix, Key to Dark, two Princess. You gotta play two in this build. Uh, not only is it good in the grind, just in general against like weird decks like Lab, but uh, the line I really go for is, and with like Sunlight, uh, with the one card combo is Sunlight Wolf, IP mm -hmm. with Arvada. And it plays around Nib, but if you do get Nib, uh, you got to make the second one, and then you still summon out the um, like the Arvada and kind of pass there. Even um, really good, especially into like um, Cash Unicorn. Um, so definitely got to play two. Uh, Appalooza, this this. Uh, you got to play Amber Whale. It plays around um, like Cosmic and um, you know like Lightning on your island if you sack this. So because uh, then it reborns back your like your IP, and then like you can cure and pop your own Promethean after, and then non-target pop. It's just nobody ever really ever expects it, um, or just forgets that it exists in the graveyard. And then uh, the last pop is insane. Goddess to play around talents pretty much um, to like go at all your trap, and then like Typhon really never comes up. Selene axes you, really, you don't really need to summon a bunch of big idiots, and you threaten game that way. So I decided to play this. Never came up, but uh, you know against Tempai, if you get hand trapped to death, you could sometimes make it and survive. So. Uh, I wouldn't change anything there really. And then side deck, anti spell, the card's crazy. Uh, against Tempai, against pretty much everything. You just flip it up and they have lightnings and it forces droplets right away. Uh, so it's just the god card. Skill Drain's also a decent god card, but uh, just two, just because, uh, you know, it's, it's nice. Uh, <laughs> did kind of a lot of two ofs. Uh, two Fenrir, it's just really good going first into pretty much everything through hand traps or Tempai. Decent going second against Rogue. So uh, two of these, uh, mainly for like pop it lock but decent other matchups two bell um same reasoning it's like good against uh Despair. you can also uh decide it against fire decks for the flame bird sometimes but um I, I really want it for like melodious too to hit like ostinato you can hit that so i wanted to include this instead of more stuff um duster lightning generic back removal okay. um and then the the last thing the mvp greatest operation organism 
Uh, it's pretty mainly for puppet lock, but uh, it's decent against Tempai and against uh, Cash and stuff like that. So the card is really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I think you should play this. It really catches people off guard in general. So, all right. Thanks a lot, bro. Take care. You're throwing us out of here. <laughs> God bless, bro.